So I want to do a quick video about some common things that you're going to see with your papayas in the fall and in the cooler months here in Central Florida where we're kind of outside of the tropical zone. This I'm in Riverview, Florida, Zone 9B. So we're not really tropical here, but we're close. Um, but there's a couple things. It's um, early December, first week of December here. And there's some things that you will notice with your papayas almost every year. They will grow really, really well. And then as soon as the temperatures start to cool down a little bit, you'll start noticing a couple of things. If you look at these leaves up here near the crown, see how they're kind of like splotchy and almost like see-through? They're always like that, the brand new leaves. They're kind of see-through, but if I get a little closer, you can see that sort of pattern that's in the leaves. It's happened for a couple years now and I've noticed it. You know, I give manganese because, oh, I think it's a manganese deficiency or a nutrient deficiency. And I think it may be related to nutrients. However, it has more to do with the fact that when the soil temperature gets cool, the plant's not uptaking nutrients the same way, iron, whatever it is. So you could supplement some micronutrients, but this is a product of the cool soil temperature. You know, your, the crown will get a little bit smaller and it will get kind of see-through and the leaves will get this, this kind of stuff going on. Now there are a lot of diseases of papaya, like uh, papaya mosaic virus and I, uh, ring spot virus. I don't know if papaya mosaic virus, but there's mosaic viruses that affect papayas that can give you some weird patterns on the leaves. But this kind of stuff, this is just totally standard. And you can see how the leaves are almost like cupped a little bit down. That happens when it gets cool. And as soon as it warms up again, it goes away. But there's nothing I can do. It's just, it's been kind of cool. So there's another um, thing here on this plant. This, if I flip the leaf over, you can see it. See all the black spots on this leaf? This leaf needs to come off this plant. That is papaya black spot. You don't need to cut down your papaya trees. You don't need to freak out about this. But like I made in a previous video, um, liquid copper or Monterey Complete Disease Control mixed with neem oil. Um, I'm sure you could use some kind of like baking soda type spray, excuse me, would help get rid of these fungal problems. This is a fungus that gets on the leaf. This is very similar to like what you get on your tomato plants. Like right behind me, I have a tomato here. This is about to come out of the ground. You get the Satoria leaf spot. This is a very similar type of disease. And it, it starts on the lower leaves and it works its way up. So if you're seeing these two things, don't freak out. The leaves will get kind of transparent looking and not really look super healthy. And you'll get the black spot on your leaves. So the thing to do is remove your leaves that are um, on the lower part of the plant. And... Don't... Don't try to fertilize the plant right now to death <laughs> you know it's just not growing because it's cool so the thing to do is keep the leaves that are um on the that are healthy but any of the leaves that are have black spot on them just take them off don't don't worry if the tree loses some of its leaves you're not it's not really actively growing right now so 
the best thing you can do. It actually will help make the tree maybe a little easier to protect from the cold if you need to in the midwinter. But like I said, these are two super common things that you're gonna see with your papayas. Don't freak out. It's just the cooler weather. So check it out.